this month I'm going to tie a hex spinner fly in anticipation of our big hex hatch that's coming up in a couple weeks. Um, it's one of the best hatches, uh, if not the best hatch on the river, to have a great opportunity at a trophy brown on the surface. So I'm starting off with a Dairiki 700 size 4 streamer hook. You want a nice stout hook. Uh, there's some big fish around and you don't want to bend out or lose fish on a broken hook. So I've got the, the shank dressed with uh, a 6 aught yellow thread. And as a tail, I'm going to take some moose mane uh, fibers and tie that in. Cut those. I'm going to put it in the hair stacker. Get the tips all nice and straight. Tie those in as a tail. Next, I'm going to take a, uh, a small ginger hackle, tie that in um, to dress and palmer that up the body of the fly just to give it a little more buoyancy and bugginess. Now the secret part of the fly, the, the magic part, this is just thin athletic pre-wrap that you'd uh, put on your ankle or whatever before you get it taped up. So I'm going to take this, you just get it at a um, drugstore or sporting goods store comes in a roll like this. Perfect color, buoyant, and uh, adds a lot of um, just nice consistency to the body and, and buoyancy and, and the color just happens to be perfect. I'm just going to tie that down and then you just take it and kind of pull it tight and palmer it up the hook just so you've got a nice smooth body. A friend of mine showed me this material several years ago and I've been using it ever since. It's one of those great kind of things you'd never think of and brought to your attention and it works great. So now you can see the body. It's, it's perfect shape starting to uh, take shape as a fly. Sometimes I'll, I'll dress the top with uh, deer hair. Um, I'm going to let this one go and just palmer this hackle up. Kind of segment the body a little bit. Okay, and I want to do a spent wing pattern, so I'm going to take a clump of cattail. And you can do a couple different things if you want. You can add some flash to the wing. You can use a polar bear. You can use synthetic polar bear. You can use uh, all sorts of stuff. Organza, but I'm just going to use calf, a calf tail and kind of just pull out the, the ends and the short fibers, tie that in. the wing and tie, get a bunch of wraps behind it, kind of build it up. Now I'm going to take um, two light ginger pieces of hackle tie them in together. 
I want to really build up a good base of hackle here. those off. Now I want want this to be a spent wing pattern, so I'm going to separate the calf tail material and start configuring the thread through there to split the wings. This is when you got to really kind of just work the material and manhandle it a little bit to get the wings exactly how you want them. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to palmer this hackle up. Do a couple behind, a couple in front. Make sure you grab both tips. Remember you're palmering in two pieces of hackle here. There we go. We got both tips. I'm going to cut those. I'm going to whip finish the fly. And I'm going to show you another thing that I like to do to my patterns, which a lot of times I'll just do it on the river. But especially with these spent, spent wing hacks. Any kind of spent mini fly for that matter. So I'm going to do two whip finishes, just give that a nice secure head, trim that off. What I'm going to do is take the, the underside, give you a quick view of the fly, I mean, good looking fly from the underside, but I'm going to cut these long hackles down. I want this to ride low in the, in the water. So there it is, spent wing hacks. Um, hex hatch is coming soon. Hopefully you'll be out on the river catching some big browns. Good luck. See ya.